Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Ab Geek Brief, where we try to tell you everything you need to know in about two minutes. Today, we're gonna show you how to connect for flight to your flight simulator, because they're a great way to develop some skills to take back to the cockpit. Let's get that counter going. We'll start with X-Plane because it's already baked in. So all you do is load up a simulation, hit escape, mouse over to the upper left-hand corner, and then click the settings button. Then tap on the network tab along the top and expand the iPhone and iPad section. Then check this little box here to broadcast games to all apps on the network. If you already had 4Flight up, you should see it snap to your in-game location. All right, that one is a little bit too easy. So now for Flight Simulator 2020. You're gonna need an additional app here called Flight Events to make everything work. And I put a link in the description for that download. It's a zip file, so just create a folder and extract the contents to it. Next, double click the Flight Events app. And if you get this notice, just click more info and run anyways, cause the app is fine. Once it's open, jump into the settings tab and check the broadcast data to local network box. Then jump back into the simulator tab and click the start flight tracking button. It's gonna say the connection failed, but leave it up and go ahead and start Flight Simulator 2020. By the time you hit the main menu, you should see that change to connected. Then you just have to load a simulation and for flight will load wherever you're at in the game. All right, I already know that we blew through that one in less than two minutes, but seriously, ForeFlight is a great tool, whether you're connecting to it to figure out how to use it better, use it for navigation, or even for instrument stuff. Now, I put links down in the description from ForeFlight on how to get these guys working, or if you need additional help troubleshooting some issues you may be having. I also added a link on how to get Flight Simulator X connected in case you're still flying with it. Anyways, we hope that you like this video, and as always, share aviation wherever you can, and we'll see you in the next one.